as a small testimony she'd like to give this morning. Amen. Got a long one I'd like to give, but I won't do it this morning. Um, most of you know that I've been battling cancer. First time I had it was in 2003. And uh, seven years went by before it decided to show up again. Um, my last PET scan I had, it is totally gone from the liver. There's no tumor in the liver at all. However, it is in my bones now. I just finished some radiation in the lower part of my back. And I'm just leaving it with, I have a couple more treatments that chemos are going to try start Wednesday. And I'm just believing that with the Lord's help that this will all be gone Amen. very soon. Amen. I need prayers that I'm able to continue to work while I go through my treatment. Um, one of the medications is considered a compassionate drug. They stopped the clinical trial because it wasn't helping everyone well enough to be considered a successful drug. But they're going to go ahead and try it on me. Maybe I'll be that one that it right. helps and give a good report on that to you. So, thank, thank everyone for all your prayers, for all the food, cards, everything. I mean, this church has just been wonderful to us. Uh, we, we came here, um, it was after Christmas in 2009. Uh, Jim and Tracy weren't here. I think they were in Chicago with their daughter. We weren't even sure who the pastor was. Uh, we saw Mitch up here on the stage, and we thought, well, maybe he's the pastor. <laughs> Wasn't sure, and then Kenny ended up preaching that day, and we thought, okay, he must be the pastor. So we went ahead and continued to come, and we found, got to find out who the pastor was, and kept coming too. So um, they've all just, everyone has been a blessing here. And when we moved to Evansville, it took us about four to five years to find a church we would agree on, because we went to the same church in Princeton for 25 years. And the first time we visited here, we both knew at the same time that this was our new home. Amen. And that we were going to need all of you. We didn't know why. We do now. Amen. And I just, you know, I, I pray for those also that, that come to me, different ones. I, I'm a manager for apartment complex. I've had different residents come in and tell me they've been diagnosed with cancer. And I pray for them when they come. And uh, we have a little ladies group that meets once a month, and and uh, I get together with them, and they all lay hands on me and pray and check on me, and and it's just it's just been amazing with all the uh, love and consideration that people have been giving us. And God's got me going through this for a reason, you know. I'm not exactly sure why, but I'll know someday. Thank you. One more thing, on a CAT scan, uh, they showed a tumor in my right femur. And then they decided to do a PET scan because CAT scans don't show everything. On a PET scan, you light up everywhere you have cancer. Uh, when they did the PET scan, there was no tumor in the right leg. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.